So we're launching the 502 monitor and the SideFinder EVF. And really the monitor is actually kind of a res as a result of us trying to make a really fantastic and affordable viewfinder. Um, so really our pursuit was to try to make the highest resolution third party viewfinder in the world. And it led us to uh, the ability to use this larger five inch display um, because it was relatively affordable. And so um, we've designed it into this product here that allows it to you, you to use both. So you can see, you can flip out the five inch display. When you close it, now you're still having a, a viewfinder. And this, this monitor is five inches. It's full HD resolution, so 1920 by 1080. Um, and the viewfinder uses a subset of that, and it uses 1366 by 768, which is a little bit higher than the iPhone 6. So you're getting a very sharp resolution when you look through the display. And um, we've really worked hard at the user interface on this. You can see it's not a touch screen, but it uses this simple joystick and this back button. And we've created this really unique preset system called Pages. And basically, you can see your frame in these, in these windows and set up different uh, settings for them. You can set up a, a page for exposure, set up a couple exposure tools, set up another page for focus, a couple of fo focus tools, and just a left right on the joystick will bounce you back and forth between those pages instantly. So just a little setup time gets you those things set up, and then you'll be able to check your, your focus, your exposure, put on a LUT on one of the pages, see what the final product's gonna look like, and check the original shot. And it's just, again, it's so simple and so fast and so clear is what's going on that it's really easy. We, we don't like the idea of having to dive down deep into menus to turn things on and off. So we've really gone away from that with this product. And it works really well too uh, with the viewfinder because this is so simplified and the fact that it's not touch screen means we can make a, a remote. Um, so we've made a tiny little Bluetooth remote a uh, wireless remote that goes on and allows you to control the whole viewfinder from basically where your hand is. So if you have a rig and you can put your the, the remote down where your hand is to do pixel zoom and flip back and forth between those pages and it's it's a really seamless operation. It's, it's a lot of the tools you kind of expect, uh, you know, like from a professional monitor, so, you know, like lots of high-end scopes. Um, on, the, on the viewfinder we have these little windows that kind of tell you um, the, some status like like your your signal, battery life, even like a little histogram, so you can tell kind of general exposure from without even having to look through. Um, the waveforms and and scopes we're doing are very high resolution, higher resolution than anything we know of. Uh, so it'll actually be the full resolution of the display, which is super detailed. So you'll be able to have that. Um, it will do cross conversion between all these things, um, and so you know that those are the kind of features that are in our, our higher end, more like two thousand dollar products. But this is a twelve hundred dollar product, so eleven ninety nine for the monitor, and only three hundred more dollars to add the SideFinder piece to it. So the SideFinder is a fourteen ninety nine product. Uh, this product is actually shipping now, so we announced and shipped at the same time. That was that was our goal. So we're really excited about that. The SideFinder is coming this summer. Um, we're we're shooting for June. Um, so that's sort of our, 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 our goal. Nice. Uh, so about the, the, the LUTs, uh, yeah. is it, so you can use dot cubes with this? Correct. It's, it's not a, a simple 1D LUT. It actually uses 3D LUTs, and it will use a, a host of file types. So dot cube is popular. You can use pretty much anything. And if, and if you run across one that it doesn't work, let us know. We can add that really quickly. And it, um, it, it basically takes whatever LUT you have, whatever size it is, converts it to a 17-point cube, and puts that on the display. And 17-point uh, is really good for display. It's, it, makes, it makes being able to switch between LUTs very quick, because uh, the bigger they get, the it's kind of exponentially more difficult for the product. But uh, the 17-point looks really good on here. LUTs and a lot of the focus assist and exposure tools are in here. The scopes are coming in about a month's time. So we've been hitting our deadlines uh, internally for all, all of our, our software on time. So I'm quite confident that in a month, month and a half, we are going to have um, the scopes added in there, the waveform, vector scope, that kind of thing. Um, and the other piece is an image capture uh, feature here. So this little button will take a, a screen grab um, and store it to the SD card too. So you can use that picture for whatever, you know, clients, social media, that kind of thing. Um, so that functionality will be added in the future as well.